I am so proud of each and every one of you. We are here today because every single one of you stood tall and said, yes, we can. This is your victory. The idea held by generations of citizens. Every single one of you believe has something that you're good at. Every single one of you has... In 2023, what is Obama up to? President Obama will talk about the obstacles that technological advancements like artificial intelligence or AI present to economic and social equality, as well as solutions during this year's Democracy Forum. There is, after all, no sideline to take in regards to our democratic future. As of right now, Barack Obama's estimated net worth is $40 million. In addition to his six-figure pension from his time as president, Obama has earned millions from book sales and speaking engagements. Although Obama uses his money in many ways, he enjoys giving to charities and going on trips with Michelle. Barack Obama, the former president, leads a busy life. Obama's life beyond the White House has been busy and extremely successful, with speaking engagements across the globe, publishing a memoir, and most recently, inking a huge production deal with Netflix. The six-figure pension that all former presidents receive and Obama's endeavors have greatly increased his projected net worth of $40 million. According to Forbes, Obama earned $20 million in total from his presidential salary, book royalties, and investments between the time he entered the U.S. Senate in 2005 and the end of his administration. We can only anticipate that he will make many millions more given the amount of projects he has taken on in just his first year following the presidency. See how Obama uses his wealth for charity endeavors, beach vacations, and long-term investments in his kids' education. Following his departure from the White House, Barack Obama has maintained his impressive financial success. The first volume of the former president's memoir, A Promised Land, was published in November 2020. By December 2020, it had sold 3.3 million copies, making it one of the most successful political memoirs ever. Along with a lucrative arrangement with Netflix, Obama and former First Lady Michelle Obama have inked many book and podcast deals. According to Business Insider and Celebrity Net Worth, the former president has a net worth of $70 million. Nonetheless, the Business Analytics School at American University, Analytics at American, estimated that Barack and Michelle Obama would earn up to $242.5 million after leaving office. Obama's $400,000 annual salary over his entire eight-year tenure as U.S. president contributed to his personal worth. Obama's 2015 tax returns were made public on April 15, 2016, and they revealed that the former president and Michelle Obama filed jointly with an adjusted gross income of $436,065. Using their 18.7% tax rate, they paid $81,472 in taxes. Additionally, they gave $64,066 in total to over 30 charities. How did Obama increase his wealth? This is a timeline of his achievements as reported by Business Insider and other sources that have increased his income over time. The Illinois Senate paid him $80,287 while the University of Chicago Law School, where he spoke, paid him $32,144. Obama also held interest in three distinct assets valued between $100,000 and $200,000, one of which was the Vanguard Wellington Fund. After making an address at the 2004 Democratic National Convention, Obama was offered a multi-book deal with Random House and got a $1.9 million advance for the audacity of hope, plus royalties after January 2005. Along with another book advance of a little over $847,000 for Dreams from My Father, he also received $378,237 in additional royalties from the book that year. Obama disclosed receiving slightly less than $150,000 in book royalties for Dreams from My Father, in addition to $425,000 in royalties for The Audacity of Hope. Obama received roughly $816,000 from Distel and Godrich for Dreams from My Father and over $3.3 million from Random House Book Royalties. In addition to investing in two 529 college saving plans for his daughters, each initially valued at between $50,000 and $100,000, he purchased U.S. Treasury notes worth between $500,000 and $1 million. Obama possessed between $1.1 million and $5.1 million in U.S. Treasury bills at the time of his election. Obama received a $1.4 million prize when he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. He gave it away to several charitable organizations. Obama continues to receive book royalties and interest from his assets in addition to his $400,000 annual salary as president. 
Obama's annual pension after leaving the White House is reportedly more than $200,000, according to Newsweek. Penguin Random House reportedly offered the Obamas a book deal worth over $65 million for two volumes, one authored by each member of the power couple. The Obamas partnered with Netflix on a production and established Higher Ground Productions, a promised land. Barack Obama's most recent book was published. The book was acquired for an astounding $65 million, together with Michelle Obama's autobiography. A news release from 2022 stated that Audible and the Obama's Higher Ground Productions have inked an exclusive, international, multi-project, multi-year, first-look arrangement. Obama keeps bringing these topics to people's attention and working for social change through his production firm, speaking engagements, social media, and other organizations. For the remainder of his life, Obama will be paid the salary of a cabinet secretary under the 1958 Former President's Act. That's his annual pension of $205,700. Other benefits include health insurance and 24-hour protection from the Secret Service until his death. Obama will receive funding not only for Secret Service security, but also for an office, employees, and other costs. Obama is preparing to broaden his production zone of influence and possibly boost his wealth. In 2018, he and Michelle Obama inked a partnership to create movies and television shows for Netflix. Barack and I have consistently valued the ability of storytelling to motivate us, Michelle Obama stated during the formal declaration. Although Netflix withheld the financial information, the New York Times revealed that comparable transactions have been valued at tens of millions of dollars over a number of years. Under the auspices of their production company, Higher Ground Productions, the Obamas have produced a number of documentaries, including the Oscar-winning film, American American Factory, the film Becoming, and the unique Rotten Tomatoes rating of 100% fresh for Crip Camp. Obama narrates the documentary Our Great National Parks, which was released in the spring of last year. Descendant was also released last year. A young adult series named Firekeeper's Daughter, a science fiction movie titled Satellite, and numerous other films are among the upcoming releases. Barack joined Minor Barnhill & Galland, a civil rights and economic development law firm, while he was a constitutional law professor at the University of Chicago. After securing the nomination to serve as an Illinois state senator, Obama began his political career in 2005. In the 2004 general election, he received 70% of the total votes cast. Barack co-sponsored the Secure America and Orderly Immigration Act bills while he was a senator. Barack and Michelle Obama signed a significant first-look agreement with Audible in the spring of 2022, following the cancellation of their podcast contract with Spotify. The change may result in a larger audience for the podcast produced by Higher Ground Productions. Audible has a two-week first-look period, but the Spotify contract was exclusive, making the creations available only on Spotify. Higher Ground can bring it to other platforms if it succeeds on a project. Audible is committed to achieving that goal alongside us at Higher Ground where we have always worked to elevate voices that should be heard. In a press release, President Obama stated, I'm excited to work with them to tell stories that not only entertain, but also inspire. That's all for today. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications. Also, express your valuable thoughts in the comment section below. Until then, bye. Also, spend some time watching other videos on the channel.